Okay, this video is what are the most common deficiency diseases? So, super common deficiency is being low in potassium because potassium comes from plants. It's a vasodilator, so lack of potassium is associated with hypertension. Uh, lack of magnesium, super common. And magnesium is needed, and it has a 2 plus charge on it, and it helps to stabilize ATP, adenosine triphosphate, because the phosphates all have negative charges. So for most reactions with ATP, magnesium's involved, and so you get problems all over the body uh, when you're low in magnesium, and most people are low in magnesium because it mostly comes from plant foods. Magnesium is located right in the center of a chlorophyll molecule. This book right here is a great book. If you want to understand electrolytes, this is one of the all-time greatest books about health that I've ever read. This guy, Richard Moore, MD, PhD, devoted his life doing research on uh, plasma membrane ion pumps, and that's essential uh, stuff for understanding high blood pressure. After you read this, you'll understand high blood pressure better than uh, any doctor trained in conventional uh, medical schools and residencies and fellowships. Okay, uh, what else? Um, you know, well, also, of course, being low in potassium is typically associated with being high in sodium because people eat processed food and meat preserved or flavored with salt. Um, so when you eat plant foods, you automatically get a lot of potassium and magnesium, so you solve the problem. Okay, also a partial lack of vitamin C, that's not as big of a problem, but again, what's the answer? Eat plant foods, okay? Vitamin B12, you can be low in uh, vitamin B12 as a vegetarian, uh, many vegetarians are, so check your vitamin B12 levels and you might need to take something for that. I usually take methylcobalamin, the sublingual one sort of the easiest one with the fewest possible ingredients, methylcobalamin, I wouldn't take cyanocobalamin. Um, lack of exercise. you got to keep moving. The older you get, the more fragile you get, the more maintenance work you need to do. Your body's like a sports car that has to last for your entire life. So you got to move. That's one of the key things associated with maintaining high-level cognitive function, physical strength, and aging well. Um, and also, it's one of the most controllable variables. Uh, lack of sleep. Usually, the key thing is go to bed earlier because most of us wake up at the same time every night. And don't drink any caffeine or take any stimulants. No aspartame, no MSG either. Um, lack of sunshine. Get out in the sunshine. It's, it's, it's much, much, much better to get your vitamin D from the sunshine than to get it from taking a pill. Lack of God. Uh, religious people, they're much healthier than other people. So, they're, you know, in popular culture, you know, there's this uh, trend to try to mock religion. But that's because, you know, they want to bring back slavery. Uh, but religion is the friend of the poor man. Religion makes life more meaningful. It helps explain a lot of things in life, the metaphysics of it. And it makes people happier and healthier, and it also helps people, you know, religion, what does it mean in Latin? Religare, ligare, to tie together, to ligate. So it brings communities together. So there's a lot of positive benefits about it. Having a purpose in life. Whatever you do that you care about, make that your purpose in life, and you'll lead a more energetic life and probably be a lot happier. Um, if you're a mom, say, I'm going to be the best mom in the world. If you're a dad, say, I'll be the best dad in the world. If you're, uh, you know, whatever you do. Say, I'll be the best, and try to be the best you can possibly be at that thing. And that you, if you care about it and it's good, and that will energize you. And that just makes life better. Because I know most people I've seen, not most people, but certainly lots of people, they just tend to go from day to day, hang out with their family, do what they have to do to get through the day. But they'll never have a high energy level. And uh, there's a more zest and whatnot in life if you are motivated by a strong purpose. Um... What's one of the secrets of high achievers is they're very motivated to do whatever it is that they're doing. Lack of positive social experiences. You know, try to maintain some positive relationships in your life. Uh, a lot of us are so busy. I know people that are working two, three jobs, and they're just tired all the time. But, you know, try to maintain some positive relationships. That makes us a lot happier. Makes life more meaningful. Lack of reading. My attitude is read when you can. Read when you go in the bathroom. You know, have a little table in there and read a book from number ones and twos. Um... In the car, I think you should always be listening to a book or a podcast, just something. Because if you just always listen to music, you can listen to music at other times. I mean, if you're just listening to music randomly to distract yourself, you're wasting time that you could be learning something. And there's a lot to learn. I mean, the world is a chaotic, complex place. And the better you understand it, the more effectively you can navigate it and avoid all the, the dangerous things in the world. And there's a lot of them. So, anyways, uh, this is Deficiency Diseases. Hope it's helpful.